Hi, welcome to Anime Cons TV. I'm Patrick Delahanty and I'm here at Ken Yubicon 2017. This is a small anime convention held in Newark, California. This is my second time to Ken Yubicon and uh, it, it's, I think it's improved since last year. Um, one of the things, first things I noticed was uh, last year one of the complaints I had was that their artist alleys had the tables set so that they went uh, in towards the middle aisle. So if you were gonna browse, you had to go down the aisle, and it was a dead end, so you had to turn back. This year, they've got them along the walls and then aisles in the middle, so that you can go up and down the different aisles and alternate aisles. And also, I think it helps the artist sales, because if somebody's gotta get from point A to point B, they can walk down the aisle and they pass by some artists. So if you're trying to get to the main stage in one hall, or if you're trying to get to the panel area in the other hall, uh, then you're going by the artist table, and that helps drive sales. So hopefully it worked out better for the artists. I, I think it's a better layout. It definitely helped the traffic flow. Uh, if people were trying to get from one side to the other, instead of being one aisle, they actually had multiple now. So good change. Um, yeah, so if, if you missed my report on Can You Be Con last year, it's at the Newark Pavilion, and uh, it's this little area you can see behind me there's some buildings and a little picnic picnic area uh it's actually across multiple buildings so there's uh, the main hall where they've got one artist alley and the main stage and registration in the other building which is right back there they have uh video games they've got another artist alley uh, and a panel area, and there's also uh, a food stand. It's uh, part of the building, so there's a concession stand area, and it's uh, Takoyaki, I believe. Let me get the exact name. It is uh, Takoyaki by Hiro Taco. And uh, so, some good food available there, and it's reasonably priced. Um, and they were serving uh, food out here around lunchtime and actually long after lunchtime. So if you were hungry, free food. Uh, it's hot dogs and stuff. Uh, it's not the takoyaki, it's a barbecue lunch. Um, and uh, so here's their programming schedule. It's a one day con. This was just on a Sunday and uh, so on the main stage, they had Anime Jeopardy, Wheel of Fandom, a fan art competition, fashion show, uh, with a lot of Lolita fashions that they were showing off. And they'd come into a catwalk and, and show off those. They did karaoke. Uh, then there was the cosplay contest, which was scheduled for hour and a half, but if that was true, it would still have another 40 minutes going as of, of this recording. But. Uh, it's actually, they had 15 entries, so not too long, and uh, I do have the entire thing recorded and it's available in our extras podcast feed, uh, and you can find it on our YouTube channel as well. So if you want to watch the entire costume contest, there's a really great May from Overwatch and some other great costumes. It's, you know, it's a short cost, uh, it's a short contest, so it's worth checking out. It won't take much of your time. And uh, that's followed by the charity dating auction from 6.30 to 8. Uh, uh, here I mentioned they had the barbecue lunch. They also had a saber combat workshop uh, from 11 to 11.30, so a quick little thing in the morning. Uh, the panels, they're in uh, the other building over there on, on the far end, so they're in with the artist alley and the video gaming. Uh, there's Dungeons and Dragons, cosplay wigs, Shogunate performance, Self-Publishing 101, Asian Cooking Hacks, Cosplay Sewing 101, uh, the Des C content for the people. Sorry, I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. Uh, how to succeed on YouTube, an intro to 3D printing. Oh, that sounds good. I need, I need somebody to fix my 3D printer. It's not working right. Uh, I did stop by to see the Cosplay Sewing 101, but they were talking about comics. So I don't know if that was a no-show or what happened there, but I didn't get to hear about Cosplay Sewing. Uh, in the gaming area, they have casual gaming, but they also had tournaments for Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Brothers, Wii U, and Tekken 7. And so that's 
literally all of the programming that they've got here. So it's a small convention. There's a good number, of, you can see the distribution of tables in the different rooms here. So you can see a good number of artists here, some, some good talent, and uh, I, I like walking through and seeing all the stuff there. Some good stuff. And uh, so it's a small convention. It's uh, if you pay at the door, it's 15 bucks. Uh, it's cheaper if you get it in advance, of course. And so 15 bucks for a day, that's not bad. Uh, definitely bring, bring some friends so you can hang out together and have a good time. Uh, wear costumes. Um, and uh, yeah, so small con, a lot of fun. Um, I wouldn't travel here. F I wouldn't fly in to come here uh, or drive more than uh, two, three hours. But because it, you know, it's a, runs 11 to 8, so and there's not a whole lot of programming. Uh, so it's probably not worth it if you're coming a long distance, but uh, if you're in the area, anywhere in the Bay Area, you know, check it out. And it's only 15 bucks, so it's cheaper than seeing two movies. <laughs> um, and uh, that's Can You Be Con. And uh, I don't know if there's anything else to mention. But uh, if you were at Can You Be Con, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach out to us at our voicemail line. That's 762 adequate. 762-233-7828. Why adequate, you might say? Well, it's our adequate.com parent network thing. And uh, if you go to adequate.com, it'll have links to us. So yeah, adequate. Or the podcast use the same phone number. So, um, you can also email us at podcast at animecons.tv. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe and like our videos and leave comments down below. And we'll put them in our next feedback episode. And uh, yeah, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, just stay tuned. Next week, I believe next week is either the Otakon report or Boston Comic Con. I don't know, we've got so many con reports coming up. I forget which is next. I think it's Otakon, but don't quote me on that. Anyway, I hope you enjoy, and I've had a good time here. Let me go check out more of the con, and I'll see you next time. Bye.